Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to access your gateway control module on a new Ford F-150 with SYNC 4. Uh, the general process is the same for any of these newer Ford F-150s, although you may find that your specific truck has a few different trim pieces here and there to pull off or screws to undo. Um, but this video should serve as a pretty useful guide for getting to your gateway control module. You might need to access your gateway control module if you want to put in a new module. Uh, for example, the shock sensor add-on, which I'll be talking about in another video. Uh, but hopefully this you find this video helpful because I had a lot of, personally, hard time uh, finding information on how to get to my control module. So to access your gateway control module, <clears throat> what you're gonna do is the first piece of trim is to remove this top one that goes around your screen. <clears throat> Next you're going to remove the trim that holds in your push button start. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. And you can actually just unclip your push button start. <clears throat> Next thing you're gonna do is Remove these two pieces of side trim here that go right along your driver's side. The easiest way to do that is just to pull from the side here. And then the other side. And now all you have left to do is remove these four screws. <laughs> so to remove these four bolts, on my F-150, I'm using a 9 30 seconds uh, of an inch size socket head. And I wouldn't recommend using an impact wrench, but as you can see, I've already cracked the plastic here, so I'm not too concerned about it. Now that you've gotten those four off, you can remove this console here. And I'll give you a closer look. Um, let me focus in there. So depending on your setup, for me personally, I had to unclip all of these connectors in order to access the gateway control module, but you can see right, right back here, here is our gateway control module. Um, there's lots of connectors all around here. So if you remove them to access the back of it, make sure that you reconnect all of them. Um, and I would recommend that you uh, double check before turning it back on that everything works so you don't have to go through this process again. That was how to access your gateway control module on the new uh, Ford F-150s. I'm really excited to be sharing my first video about my F-150 here. In the future I plan to share a lot more videos um, about thing, things and accessories and work I've done on my truck um, and reviews of different products. I spent a lot of time researching and working on my truck and um, a lot of time figuring out how to answer difficult questions. So hopefully this video and videos in the future will be helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my absolute best to answer all of them. And if I don't have the answer, I'll do the research to figure it out. Thanks. Uh, like and subscribe.